Hey there, I'm Ron. Are you ready to turn your app idea into reality without writing a single line of code? Welcome to Tunkevo, the ultimate no-code platform for building the mobile app. Whether you're a beginner, entrepreneur, or educator, Tunkable empowers you to celebrate professional grade app with ease. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will walk you through how to use Tunkable to design, build, and publish your own mobile app, all from a single drag and drop interface. This is really easy. Now, first of all, you have to just go to Google and search for Tunkable. Let's go back here and click on this first link. Now let's go to the pricing. Obviously, it's going to play a huge role. Uh, monthly is a little bit expensive than yearly. You can just go and compare the pricing here. They provide a three tier. The first one is completely free, up to three public projects and five screen uh, per project. There's a builder that most popular, right? Pretty affordable. Now this is $100, which is one is the advanced one. Now click on try for free and let's try this one. It provides a lots of features, right? So uh, the features are drag and drop interface, cross-platform support, customizable components and real-time testing cloud storage and API and there's a lot we will just uh, we will just look into this video obviously I will use my Google account you can use your normal email address if you want or just like go with me now once you have logged in it will choose you how are you planning to use Tunkable I don't know I'm pronouncing the name or right or not but anyway uh, I will I'm just going to use for work here click on next which best describe uh, your role so i'm a professional you can choose your designer or something else it's fine even though if you choose a wrong option or if you're not sure about any of the option because the interface will not change anyway i will choose here one to ten people works in my team uh, what is your experience with app creation no experience i'm completely newbie how technical are you not very technical right because i want to see each and every feature which i can explain you very first thing which you need that is let it open let me just go back here. This is my workspace, right? You can create new workspace. First of all, let's go and create a new project. So I will just write here test project one. Now this is category. I will choose here. This is regarding business. You can choose anything else here. Now this is a public or private. This is public. Use the drag and drop builder. I click on create. Now on the top, you can see this is a blocks. And this is a design so you can switch between this you can switch between project or you can rename the project here sorry you cannot switch between the project you can just rename the project now this is a screen one obviously you have to if you just want to create a different screen click on create new screen on the left side let's go one by one by here <laughs> let's go one by one here this is a design section so first of all this is a screen one so here let's say i want to create a button i will click and hold and drag it here now the button has been created right now i can just resize the button let's say i want just big button describe the text you want uh, i will just write here normal button right and i can search for it now obviously i think it is integrated with the ai but somehow i think it's it's not really good let, let me okay we can try from here create a red button press the answer okay it doesn't right button with the white borders and the word press in bold white titles oh this is not good because somehow the button color is in blue but other than ai i think the other features are really good because i've used myself here you can add it now for example i want to add a label so i can just go and click on label here now put it in this way i can even describe it and everything here right for example this is it and the markings you can see here the center alignment is pretty cool now let's say i want to change the color right i can just go and click on change the color i can just make it to the red okay this is a text color i can change the font here right and let's say i want to go with the black here right now this is essentials i can just make it bold italic or just raise or whatever it is you can just put it right now this is really a good feature now you can just disable this or enable this you can see here uh, disable enable it means you want to turn on this button or not right so this is button i can change here the button name and everything right and you can change the layout for example right just like if you have used figma then you might be pretty the features are pretty similar because i use figma a lot you can change here the visibility right now you from here i can change the color of the button this is yellow i can go and choose any other color here now i can just put a shadow here so i will just go and put here black shadow right of the text 
and this is border so i want to put a border so first of all i need to select a color right let's say i select a black color here right and let's go back okay and i want a dotted line right somehow it's not showing up i don't know why but it should show up right here right even though if i just zoom it now i cannot see anything here but in your case if you face the same issue let me know you can navigate to the screen so there's only one screen now let's say i want to create a different screen so this is just like a photoshop uh, you can just put up layers right for example if i just go and click on here layout so i can just put it like this right and i can put a layout and i can just write here something right pretty easy thing to do i can just drag in and drag it up here for example i want to put it here a container too i can rename this stuff i can just delete it from directly here now i can just collapse or you can open it up right now you can just go and click on create new screen so in this way you can see here this is a different screen right you can also shift from here or just scroll your mouse like this and you will able to switch between your screen now i hope you understood the design feature here now one of the trinkable standout feature it's a block based programming interface right and this is really cool because you can just go to the block section define an app behavior let's say i want to go with the control so this is how this is not exactly coding but if you have used scratch right which uh, we uh, my teacher used to teach me when i was in the you know primary school here and this is exactly the same thing here now you can navigate to the block section define uh, define app behavior drag and drop blocks to identify the action for example let's say what happens if there's a if and do if customer clicks on this button then uh, this there should be a different function if they just go and choose a different function right so this is pretty cool and this is completely just like logic math and you can use it right so this is really good and it can even handle for user interaction but for button clicks or screen loads use the live preview button to test functionality right so that is pretty cool you can just view preview and this way you can also check it how it's look over the phone you can also go and create a screen over here right just go and click on plus icon and you can create a screen so this is a really good feature and this tool is allow you to bring your app to life without needing to write a single code obviously in this time there's uh you know ai has come into play and we cannot ignore the ai but you can use and create apps with the ai but somehow this video is regarding the tinkables you can uh, obviously if you just want to write codes and i mean if you don't know how to write codes but if you want to make application simply go with the ai right this is what i am doing currently now you know connecting data structures so connecting your app to external data sources is key to creating dynamic things here right now here's a how Tinkable help you can link your app to google sheets Airtable, or firebase for data management right so that is pretty cool and that is really important and uh, add api call to fetch data from third party application right and like weather app or payment gateway save user input locally or sync them to a cloud for persistence ensure sensitive data is protected using encryption and authentication this tool help you create app that are interactive and scalable so this is the all the features obviously you can just go and click on create new uh, organization and you can create something new go and click on new project this is a sample project so for example i want to go with this one right the project is loading and you can see here this is exactly how it should right now this is pretty cool i can just go back i can even copy this up this is public gallery so it will show up uh, all these who have made something you can exactly go and view if this is public right okay so they have created this one this is created by this user so you get it's completely up to you now this is save screen which will show up here unfortunately the example which i was giving giving i didn't save the screen this is module so you can create a new module which allow you to save combinations of components and block to reuse in the same or older project so you don't have to create the resources again and again which is very time saving same goes for logic modules now and there you have it a complete step-by-step -step guide to building your own mobile app with trinkable whether you're designing screen and adding functionalities connecting data sources trinkable has the tool to help you succeed now there you have it i hope you found this video very useful make sure to like this video and subscribe if you found this video useful